When was the last time you checked your gearbox oil level for your power unit? I never check mine because it's not needed, duh. Let's get the main thing out of the way. Our powertrains are direct drive, unless it's some kind of DIY project. So, a sprocket on the power unit and a sprocket on the rear axle. The front and the rear sprocket is connected with a chain. The chain types we use, 219 for the X2 and X3 series power units and 428 for the bigger ones, the X4s and the X5s. The X1 and the rental cards, they're all, they're all of course, well driven. <laughs> The basic math behind the ratios is the following. So you take the tooth amount of the rear sprocket and divide it by the tooth amount of the front sprocket. So in our case, 28 divided by 14, that's two. The higher the number you get, the more torque you will achieve. The lower the number, the more top speed you'll get. Case study one is BSR's clip of drifting and driving underneath the truck. In that one, we had 36 tooth on the back and 14 on the front resulting in a ratio of 2.5, which we needed for that, you know, extra torque juice. The second case study is the speed record in Gotland ring. In that one, we had 21, 21 teeth on the back and 14 on the front, resulting in ratio of 1.5, which is lower, and what was needed to achieve that top speed. Important points I should mention. Point one, your chain is not unlimited length, so if you start playing around with the sprockets in like a really wide range, you will either need to add some extra links or make the chain shorter. BSR cards are supplied with the optimal sprocket ratio suggested by our expertise command and the experience all over the tracks, all over the world. So don't worry, your card is still ready to use right out of the box. If you would like to get a PDF of the sprocket ratio explanation and suggestions, Make sure to comment down below sprockets and the type of power unit you own and I will send you the PDF to your DMs right away. As you already know, you have the front sprocket and the rear sprocket, so in theory you could play around with both, but we in BSR we suggest you to keep it simple and only modify the rear sprocket just for the sake of convenience and the standard sprocket availability worldwide. And unless you're into carding for a really long time, even though you change the sprockets, you would still be kind of guessing what kind of RPM are you hitting. This is where Micron 6 comes into play because you'll be able to tell what kind of RPM are you hitting at the exact spot in the track. So it will make the adjustment even more easier. Make sure to drop an eye into the PDF and see you in the next one.